Hey, welcome back. This is Sane, the legend, and I'm doing a an animation here. So what I did here is I grabbed a pre-made crane. I glued the object to the area effector. I went down to force settings. It's always abled. It's on 10 meters. The value is 18,658. Affected objects is obviously the glue group. Object instances. Okay. It's going to wrap around 360 degrees. This is in an invisible object while, it, while animated. Okay, it's just a simple animation. My animation was... Uh, is that? It's 4 and 4 and... Uh, it's inverted second half, so what it's going to do is going to push the object. Okay. This is three objects in one. Uh, it's tilted a little bit, leaning to the side. Advanced physics is 10,000 kilograms, friction 95. Disable global damping. Uh, no buoyancy, that's only for water. Uh, sure, you want to turn it off since it is a heavy pillar, so it can go through the water. Contact response and make sure fast object is on. Collision sound only if you want to sound. Okay. And so, our animation for the crane. And then, uh, when you, the player crosses the finish line, it's going to trigger all of this. But once you, uh, when you want to test it on the fly, you can always use an interval trigger at one tick. And then put all those settings down so you could just, you know, play test it. Play test it, you see what I'm saying? Okay, so pretty much what's going to happen here is when the rider crosses the finish line, okay, uh, it's going to trigger that event, okay? So what's going to happen here is. Uh, the crane animation, what we did here, is uh, 4 seconds. So what we could do is we can get a delayed interval trigger. And set that to 4 seconds. Or 3.7. Because it's not exactly 4 seconds. And see what happens from there. Make sure you turn on physics on the fly as well. Oh yeah, and then since that's activated, we have to then turn on this as well. And turn on that. Make sure those checkboxes are off. So after four seconds, the crane goes. Uh, okay, so this is instant, it looks like. Hmm. We don't want it to do that. We don't want it, we want the four seconds to happen after so ignore all of what i just said uh just do this copy an event here unselect everything reselect this uh you could borrow from here it doesn't really matter three eight seconds from there and now we don't want that on. You know why that's turning on, right? Because... Okay. Okay, and then physics... Um, be the same thing. Okay. Share the impulse with the impulse. Turn off the split for this.
Oh, you're killing me, game, right now. What is in this war? The reason why it doesn't work is because of genius ideas I never set the delay. Okay, so it's a way to... It's a little bit off. Yeah, so that's how you make a, uh, a physical object hit the floor. If it's inside the, the physics bubble. So we're actually going to grab a checkpoint right here. So the rider's next to the finish line. We're also going to... Uh, Say the physics bubble. Okay, so pretty much what we're going to do now is we're going to say... Uh, we're going to have two variable data sources. We're going to select a physics bubble. We're going to put the size into one variable. And we're going to put the driving behavior. So remember, it's 0, 1, 2, 3. So... Uh, zero is the first one. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab two set value events. Make sure it's set. Increases only for score values. Make sure you remember that. Um, this is going to be uh, three. And that's... Uh, that's size. Position behavior. Okay, I don't know why it did that. Okay. Position behavior is going to be down here. And then size is going to be over here, and we're going to set the size to maximum 90. Doesn't matter if you go over the maximum, it is 90. And then, uh, as soon as you cross the finish line, this, th this sh stuff should activate, so the fix bubble's bigger. Uh, this could provoke some uh, performance issues, so really be careful. You could turn this from 90 to 20 to 0 after it's done, if you want to cycle through camera angles after. Um, let's see. Boom. Okay, so like... Boom. So if the if it's away from the trigger line and you have to time this. Okay, so you could just put a trigger box right here. Okay, and then say select object instances. You're gonna probably put the peak of that. Okay. And then you're going to select an effect. Hopefully I'm not doing too complicated here. And then select an effect. Okay, put it there. Okay. And we're going to set this value to a higher. 
uh, increase the range a little bit. So now the, you see how? Okay, now we're just going to increase the range more here. Okay, it looks like it's following the same distance, so let's increase the force value here. Just play around with certain numbers. Let's take the force value and angle it downwards because we want to have the forward momentum make it more precise you understand so then it falls like a realistic object and then uh, what you want to do is you want to turn off physics because then it prevents a clipping from happening This should work, it should work. A realistic object here, boom. So it's not accurate, obviously the timing of the crane when it hits the physical object is not accurate. Okay, so if you want to tweak it a little bit more, you could just take the variable data source bring it down more or you could bring it up more actually bring it up a little bit more a little bit more you see now it works I want to see here Uh, it would be easier to uh, attach a physical uh, boulder to that, so it hits it. it looks pretty bad so we could adjust the one forty six one fifteen what does one fifteen do? One thirty Looks like it's slower now. Oh. We can increase the value a little bit more. Now we know that the value is 4 seconds, so we can increase it to 4 seconds. I was just tweaking. You get the general idea now. So you have...
Okay. So if you memorize the exact statistical values of certain weight of objects with physics, what they have to be, and do uh, many techniques, right, uh, then you can make a lot of physical objects. But remember, they're physical objects, they're hollow objects in the 3D world. Uh, uh, maybe combining the entire pillar with an entire uh, custom collision with physics or some sort of trick like that could increase no clipping, right? Um, but this is just a general idea for a tutorial. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully it, it solves people's problems. You can have a ball and chain swinging uh, on the bottom with a physics joint. And then when the ball hits the object, okay? Uh, you can have the ball weigh at, at the lowest uh, amount so it doesn't even hit the object, but you have to mimic the physics, okay? So, like, uh, it's just going to be very, very hard to physics on physics in the Trials Fusion Editor because the, the objects are not really programmed with, uh, with good physics properties. Uh, as far as I know, uh, I'm no expert when it comes to physical objects. So, um, uh, if there's other trials, people don't know how to do this, like physical, physical objects, but I, I see almost nobody use physical objects or just animation. So like, I don't know if it's like interacting with the driving line, that's different because that's like easy to do with the bike and rider. But if it's like uh, physics with another physical object, it's a little bit harder. And then another way of, of telling that the uh, physics bubble worked, which I'm going to explain real quick. Don't run away yet. Is... Is tie that to that. Okay. Grab a trigger field. Uh, the size selected to the that part right there. Select this to that, and then make sure there's nothing triggering it. Make sure the all a hit tolerance. Make sure the advanced physics. You turn everything off. No buoyancy, decoration only, restore, and then, yeah. Well, there's no effect with the rider, and then you can see that it's this damn big for 90 meters. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, there, there's another way to test how big the physics bubble is, okay? But that's saying the legend, and that's how you make a custom, um thing. Uh, I'm gonna go to my own settings. Grab a camera. Because I think I pre-customized the camera. And then we're going to test it. No, you should never make writers watch an animation for, for this purpose. 
We don't want the finish line blocking the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to just say after, I don't know, like 12 seconds it's going to finish. Something like that. Make sure uh, if you want to do swapping cameras, uh, this one's, uh, this camera is set on cut and interpolate or cut. Uh, I'm just going to go like this and then select that's an impulse splitter. The reason why it's doing this is because again we have to turn off the interval trigger. And it's still doing that? Why? Why is it? Is it on game event? No. Oh, okay. You see? We find the root of the problem already. The, the checkpoint was activating everything. But okay, okay, game. Like we said, 12 seconds to finish. Oh, but then I'm activating the finish. Oh. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. I don't care. I position the camera downwards now, you see? It plays an animation. Boom. Play that again. Yeah, I have to keep going for more. Hopefully that works. Uh, I don't know what to title this video. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out something. I'll do some sort of... I won't even do Photoshop or anything. I'll just do like... Uh, position like a... We'll get ready to take a screenshot. Like right now. I took a screenshot. Oh, okay, so that's pretty much what how it's done. So hopefully that was a kind of an easy tutorial. It's a little bit complicated. Again, physics and trials is not the best. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to say the truth here. Hopefully in Trials Rising they could be better. Maybe we're doing something. I'm doing something wrong. Because I normally never do physics when it's like this. Usually physics are only done when it's an object dropping from the sky and hitting the floor okay anything else it's just it's just a little bit clunky uh an animation when it hits an object is very clunky you would want to apply it by force using force or any physical instances like that to mimic the physics and that it should work like that to increase the force so that's what i used i used force and a little animation tap with physics and that's how I made it work. So I'm seeing the legend. I'll see you guys on a little bit of more of a complicated tutorial. I'm probably going to make an OP elevator on how it works and stuff like that. And then a proper end event as well. All right. Later.